Why are niggas fighting? Why don't we have love for each other? Do, do, let me ask you this. Do you think they have to fight in Stony Point? Hold on, I'm talking about. Do you think that the yeah, white people do you think the white people in Stony Point are fighting? Like short pump, do you think they fighting like this? No, Carrying lie. guns, they're not doing that. Lie. I reason, the only reason they be acting like You are exactly my brother said my brother said a, a, a wise thing. He said what? A mouthful. He said our people are the only ones that act like this. Our people will sell drugs to their brother. Our people will rob their own brother. Right. Our people will prostitute their daughters. Right. Our people will sleep with another man's wife. Teach. Why is that prevalent in our communities? Why is that not happening everywhere else? That's the question we have to ask ourselves. Brother, my brother, let me check this out. Check this out. The reason why we're out here is to teach the Bible, thus saith the Lord. The Christian pastors don't know anything. God said that you and all these black people out here in a lower state, all of us, we're his chosen people and he only loves us. No such thing as Jesus came to die for everybody. No such thing as God loves everybody. Give right. me a Joel first. Joel 2 and 27. I'm going to read this Bible to you because this is the best thing on this earth. All right? What we were taught in Christianity was lies. We were taught all sorts of lies. And that's why our people are messed up today. And for, if, if, the, if the message that they was teaching was so good and prevalent, there's hundreds of churches in every city on each corner, but our neighborhoods look like trash. Why is that our people doing that? Check this out. Joel. Chapter 2, verse 27. And ye shall know that I am in the midst of Israel, and that I am the Lord your God. Who's God? Your God, and none else. He said, I am in the midst of Israel. I am Israel's God, and what? And none else. That means the rest of the nations he don't deal with. You, my brother, are an Israelite according to the Bible. That's right. All right? All these black people out here are Israelites according to the Bible. Right. The so-called blacks. Hispanics and Native Americans are God's chosen people. Right. God said, read that last part again. He said he's not dealing with any other nation. The people that own that store, he don't care about them. People that own that store, he don't care about them. Right. Read that last part. I am the Lord, your God. That means your God, very possessive. That means everybody can't have this and none else. That's not, that has nothing to do with it. And that's all the way throughout the Bible. Get the next one. You know what I want? Let's run it real quick. The whole point is, bro, we're here to clear up our communities, right? We're here to teach love. Love is not going to allow this place to be trashed like this. Let me ask you a question. If you kept your house spotless, right, everything in order, nice and clean, would you let anybody come in there and just trash the place? Why not? Because it's yours, right? We have to have that same mindset about our communities. Bring it out. Not with just trash on the ground. We're talking about the trash that the people spew out, the trash that people do as far as killing people, robbing people, Preaching a false message against this Bible, preaching Islam, preaching the Seven Day Adventists, preaching Christianity. We're here to get rid of all of that. Thus saith the Lord. Oh, we don't care. We've been in here. What last was it? Last week we was up in here last week in the middle of the hood. We see what it was walking around with the AR-15s. We see that with the little Mac 10s. We see that. That's nothing. We're not scared of that because God told us to be bold and teach our people. Go ahead and read this. Amos chapter three verse one. Hear this word that the Lord has spoken against you. Oh, children of Israel. You hear that again? He's speaking to the children of Israel again. It's not saying the whole world. He's speaking to you, brother. What's your name? Rel. My name is Johannes, all right? So, Rel, he's speaking to you because you are the nation of Israel. Go ahead. Against the whole family which I brought up from the land of Egypt. Because those people that was brought out of Egypt by Moses, those are your direct relatives. You, you descend from them by blood. Meaning a man has sex, had a baby, he had sex, had a baby, all the way down to here until you was born. You descend from those same people in that time of Moses. Go ahead. Saying, you only have I known. What did God say? You only have I known. Go ahead. Of all the families of the earth. Out of all the nations that he created. Because, yes, God created 18 nations in the Bible. Right. right? But there's only one nation, the nation of Israel, that he's dealing with. Read that part again. You only have I known. Go ahead. Of all the families of the earth. Right. Therefore, I will punish you for your iniquity. Now, iniquity goes into sin. Sin is breaking the laws of God. So he's punishing us right now. How does he punish us? Like I just went over. We have people that's walking around strung out. And the mindset is, if, if you see your brother, because we are brothers, right? We're supposed to be brothers. If I see something going on with you, I'm going to try my best to help you. I'm not going to let nothing, I'm not going to let anything happen to you. My mindset should be, should be to help you. So the same way if I see somebody strung out walking, I should just walk by like there's nothing going on. My thing is, my first thought is, this man needs hope. Because anything can happen to him. When somebody is not in their right mind, when somebody's not sober, they can be taken advantage of, right? 
My second question is, who in the hell put my brother in this position? Who in the hell sold those drugs to my brother? That's what I'm thinking about, all right? That's my mindset. Now, let me ask you this. Do you know who's selling drugs? I'm not gonna say that you say no names, I'm not putting you out there, but do we know who sells drugs in our community? We know. Do we think that, let me ask you this, bro, is drugs a good thing? No, we know this. So why do we allow it to keep on going in our communities? Go ahead. Leviticus. Hey, real, real. Leviticus chapter 19, verse 17. Thou shalt not hate thy brother in thine heart. It says, thou shalt not hate thy brother in thy heart. So we just went over, drugs are not a good thing. That's, everybody knows that. So if I sell drugs to my brother, that is considered hate according to the Bible. All right, because I'm pushing that doctrine that's going against what God said. Keep going. Thou shalt in any wise. In any wise means it don't matter what the situation is. It don't matter if there's a thousand people out here doing wrong. It doesn't matter if it's my mother doing wrong or my wife doing wrong or my children doing wrong. In any wise, any manner, do what? Rebuke thy neighbor. Says we are to rebuke your neighbor. Rebuke means a strong, a strong correcting. I'm gonna tell my brother, hey man, stop selling drugs to your brothers, man. Stop prostituting your daughter. Stop stealing and lying. Treating your brother like a piece of trash because you don't want that to be done to you, right? That's what rebuke means. Keep going. And not suffer sin upon him. Because if you don't say nothing, he's gonna stay in that sin. Now think about this. If you would have told your brother, you don't sell drugs, he might listen. He might say, you know what, man? You're right. What I'm doing is messed up. He might have came to his senses. If he keeps going, that's on him, though. But it's your job to say something. Go ahead. Verse 18. Thou shalt not avenge nor bear any grudge against the children of thy people. Let's break that down real slow. Read that first part. Thou shalt not avenge. It says thou shalt not avenge. What does avenge mean? Avenge means to get back. All right? It means to get back at. Like I say, for example, and say, hey, my sis, come over here. We teach the love according to the Bible. We're teaching not to avenge your brother, all right? Let's say, for example, if I if I shot if I shot my brother right here, right? It says not to avenge, meaning God telling him do not go back and shoot your brother. Why? Because the uh, most I already understands violence begins with violence. If I start a war with him and his family, it's gonna be ongoing. I'm gonna shoot him. They will come try to kill me if I die. My cousins, my brother, gonna try to take him from my state. Go shoot somebody for that. He knows it'll never end. God is a there's no, there's no piece, there's no Bible, no other book in this earth that has more knowledge than this Bible at all. Everything else cannot compare to what's in here. God said, do not avenge your, uh, your brother. Go ahead. Nor bear any grudge against the children of thy people. Of thy people. So don't hold a grudge to a brother. If he does something wrong to you, you're going to be upset. Nothing wrong with being upset, but you got to get over it. Because the more you fester on it, the more you let that thing marinate in your head, you're going to go do something to your brother. You will take it out of your brother, which is wrong. All right? Let it keep going. But thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. I am the Lord. It says, love thy neighbor as thyself. If you don't want nobody shooting you, you don't shoot nobody. Right. You don't want somebody holding out your daughter, you don't go sleep with another man's daughter and leave her. You marry that woman. That's what God is saying. That's right. What is the nation? Nation is men leading by example. Oh, my.